Hello again, racing fans. I'm Tony Salvaro, joined on split screen by my track announcer colleague out at Belmoral Park, Mr. Peter Galassi. Peter, how are you this evening? Tony, good evening. How are you? Good. Summer has just arrived here at Maywood Park a few days ago, Peter, and uh, it is a beautiful night. It's 79 degrees, very little wind, and that wind is just a beautiful breeze. Track is fast. Same thing here, Tony. All conditions are go for some very fast miles. All the races here on the inner 5H track. And as you said, very little wind, and the track is fast. We have a big weekend here at uh, Balmoral, yeah. Tony. As you know, uh, dual simulcasting again tomorrow, Saturday. And tomorrow, Balmoral celebrates its 67th anniversary. And we're going to give away a 1967 Ford Mustang. For those of you here at Balmoral Park, you upon entering tonight, just fill out the entry blank. Be sure you're here tomorrow because the winner must be present. The car can be found on page 9, a picture of the car on page 9. For those of you here at Balmoral Park, we want to take a look at the car. It's located lower level grandstand just south of the finish wire. Tomorrow night at Balmoral will also be the popular dollar night with dollar draft beers, dollar soft drinks, dollar hot dogs, and dollar popcorn. We have a special buffet in the clubhouse dining area. You can call for details on that. We have a live country band, Woe Nelly, a country rock band. Also, the bus, WBUS FM 99.9 will be on hand, and they're going to hand out 67 wonderful prizes. It's all in honor of our 67th anniversary. Incidentally, Chip St. James will be here. The morning man on the bus will be here. In fact, we're going to have him on TV tomorrow night along with David Bruce from David Bruce Auto, I mean from uh, David Bruce Auto Center representatives will be here. We're going to have him on TV. He's going to be on with us tomorrow night. Tony, we're going to talk again about the giveaways. So a big Saturday night. Not only that, Tony, we have 12 races here at Balmoral tomorrow night. We're going to simulcast the $197,000 Miller Memorial Final. Yeah. That includes the uh, some outstanding three-year-old pacers, the best three-year-old pacers, including the undefeated locally owned Vine Street. Of course, he's yeah. owned by uh, the Moynison Group, who uh, also owned Arts Place. So Vine Street undefeated in his career. He's 11 for 11. Uh, presidential balls also in that race. He was the two-year-old champion pacer of the year last year. He finished second in his 93 debut last week in a tune-up for this race. And uh, all in all, it's a great field. It'll be simulcast. You can watch and bet it here at Balmoral or any place where you're at right now. We have a big 12 race card on tap tomorrow, Saturday. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to top that off with Mother's Day. We have a Mother's Day special in the dining room Sunday. And if you take a look at page 17, that is all the information. Uh, gates open at 4 p.m. We have a special Mother's Day all-you-can-eat buffet, $16 per person. We have a free champagne fountain. Children under six eat for free. Advanced reservations are required. There are a few reservations left, so give us a call here at Balmoral Park. And in honor of Mother's Day, we're going to have an all-girls driving uh, driver's race, the ninth race of Philly and Mayor Claymere. All female drivers, B. Erdman, uh, let's see, uh, Terry King, Kim Rinker, uh, Kathy McMahon, J Kathy Rutherford, just to name a few. Ag Aggie Skinner will be there just to name a few. So uh, all in all, a big, big weekend of racing yeah. here at Balmoral Park. And uh, Tony, I know you've got some fireworks out there tonight and tomorrow night. We certainly do. Well, Peter, we've got the big races to offer. We have, of course, the spring championship uh, tonight. And then, of course, the Cinderella uh, tomorrow night here at Maywood Park. We hey, do want to remind the fans, uh, we do close for the 1993 uh, spring season uh, tomorrow night here at Maywood Park. But Maywood Park really never closes because the action is the attraction, as we say and you can watch and bet the thoroughbred action uh, live from Arlington Park Racetrack uh, starting uh, this coming Sunday afternoon. And then, of course, Sportsman's Park at night, which will be next Monday night. And whenever Balmoral Park races, which is a couple of times a week, of course, you can watch and bet that action right here. So uh, we're open day and night, seven days a week here at Maywood Park. Right, Tony. As you said, tomorrow night is closing night there, and uh, our racing continues. We go to our summer school, uh, summer school, listen to me, <laughs> summer schedule with uh, Sunday Night Racing. Remember, this Sunday, our new post is 6.30. It'll be that way every Sunday to October. And we also race Friday afternoons, 12 noon post, a big, big Friday afternoon yeah. of racing. We have to start the day off at 12 noon, 10 races. We're followed by Arlington's car, then Sportsman's Harness Cart at night. You got to love it, Tony. It's just absolutely wonderful. Speaking of loving it, you know, a little while ago when I got here, there were tons of people coming in. And I don't know, I guess that's the same way at Balmoral Park tonight. The weather's just driving the people right over to us, Peter. A lot of new fans tonight, too. Right, and people, what's going to, ladies and gentlemen, what's going to happen tonight, dual simulcasting means you're going to see 22 races, and we'll have you out of here by 10 to 12 at the latest. Yeah. Balmoral's first race is at 745, Maywood's first race at 8. We'll alternate races thereafter. 
This is Balmoral's side of the program. This is Maywood's side of the program. You can bet either racetrack at any open mutual window. Just be sure you tell the mutual clerk which track you're wagering on. If you tell the mutual clerk which track you're wagering on, when you, before you make your wager, everything will go smooth. And, of course, all winning tickets may be cashed in the open mutual window. Right? right. Well, of course, Peter, if there's a delay of any kind, which we never do have them, but in case there is one, uh, whether it be an inquiry, photo finish, or whatever, uh, windows never close. You can go right to the window and make the very next race or a couple of races down the road if you'd like uh, because the convenience of having windows open all times just means just that. Uh, you never really can get shut out. Right, exactly so, Tony. And, and I had a question the other day from a fan, and I'll address it tonight and so everyone hears it across the network. What you see wherever you're at, whether you're in Springfield, whether you're in Crestwood, Balmoral, Maywood, uh, Sportsman's, Wherever you're at right now, you see what everybody else sees. Nobody else sees anything different, except, of course, if you're at the track live. But as far as right. the TV goes, if you're in Crestwood, you're seeing the same thing everybody in uh, Springfield seeing. Everyone in Peoria is seeing the same thing over the TV. So nobody sees anything right. else but, except what everybody else sees. I think I explained that uh, good enough. So it's not like uh, if you're at uh, Crestwood, you're going to see something else that the people of Peoria aren't going to see, so or Balmoral or Maywood or whatever. Right. You see whatever's up on the TV. Mark Dolan does a great job. He's the director. He's the one oh, yeah. who runs the TV show. He does a marvelous job. You see the post parades. You see the replays. You see the prices, the current odds. You see everything, and uh, it's just a wonderful job, and you're going to have a great time tonight. And one thing the fans are lucky they don't get a chance to hear, and that is in the in-house pages, uh, because Peter and I both have a switch where uh, we can page for an auto to be moved or page for a person to go to security without the people in Crestwood hearing it. They don't care if Joe Makarats's car is blocking the fire line, you know, so they don't get to hear all that good stuff. Okay, Tony, now let's get to the business at hand. We had all the plugs out of the way. Certainly did. T uh, talked about, I think we talked about everything. Uh... I'm sure we have. If we haven't talked about something, it'll come to me, I'm sure. What do you say we try and pick some winners? Certainly, because, Peter, these hots are li these lights are hot. These hots <laughs> are light. Uh, because my people here, you probably have got the nice, soft, white bulbs, right? No, Tony, I'm no. sweating, believe yeah. me. I, these are I French sweat prof profusely underneath these lights. And tomorrow night, in honor of that, I think we're going to do the show without jackets, all right? Well, whatever. But no, wait, I can't. We have guests tomorrow night on the show, so I'll have to wear a jacket. They didn't give just, me lights, Peter. They gave me just take them off right go now. Go ahead, Peter. Come they on. gave me you, French you, fry warmers. Yeah. <laughs> no, these are pretty warm here. Yeah. I'm glad you brought it up because now I don't yeah. feel bad by yeah. taking off my jacket. It makes me want to cry. No, yeah. I mean, thank you. My sound man, Jerry, he is the best. Okay, Tony, uh, I'll go first. Oh, go ahead, Peter. Please. Here at Balmore on the first race scratch, number three, skip over Abby. I'm going to go with number C, number one. She's a Samadhi. A nice quality, nice uh, qualifiers and then he raced or she raced real well at Maywood in her first start and from the inside I'll give her the edge number one she's a Samadhi second race I'll go with number three baby doctor closed well in his last and uh, a well-timed move may see baby doctor get home in the second race and by the way racing fans you can follow my picks adjacent to each race with my comments with each horse in the program uh, third race scratch number five ski bunny wood I'll go with number six Broadway Viv she qualified well for this start and uh, maybe as good as any here. We have something coming in. Oh, also we have a late driver change in the third race, number nine, Kiss Me Away. Jeff Tilden will be the driver. Jeff Tilden drives number nine, Kiss Me Away, in the third at Balmoral. Fourth race, Tony, number seven, Patriots Pride, I'm going to go with. I took him last week. He went off at 26 to 1. He uh, raced real well and was gaining in the stretch. Uh, he'd have to beat Arsenal's Colt and Egyptian Hawk, the horse that ran 1-2 against him last week. But I'll stick with him one more week at another big price. Fifth race, number one, Fanfare. Uh, he left last time, battled every step of the way, and held on to win by a nose. I think he may be good enough to win again from the rail. In tonight's sixth race, we have three late scratches. Number four, Antigua. Seven, Hot Dog Casserole and eight mask mist are all out of the sixth. Four Antigua, seven hot dog casserole, and nine or number eight mask mist are all out of tonight's sixth. I'll go with number two, Easy On Me. She raced well in her last, and I think she's in a spot to get a perfect trip behind Nouveau Swan Song, and I'll go with number two, Easy On Me. Seventh race starts tonight's late daily double. Number four, see you tonight, just too far back in her last. Throw that race out. She drops back down to the 6,000 level. She won very easy the last time she was at this level and I think she'll start tonight's late double. In the eighth race, number seven, Mega Carey. Andy Miller, 
And I just got a late driver change on Mega Carry. It'll be Andy. It'll be Andy Miller doing the driving on number seven Mega Carry in the eighth race. Andy Miller drives seven Mega Carry, and she's my top pick. She had a big third in a stake race. She's been rested up for a while, and that's a concern. But if she's ready and if she repeats her last effort, I think she'll win this race. In the ninth race, number five prizes Revel a very difficult trip. She was three. Uh, he was three wide down to the opening quarter. Had little left for the final quarter mile and finished ninth, beating 16 lengths. I think he'll be much better tonight. Let's go with Prizes Rebel in the ninth. Tenth race, number six, Fanny's Mark. He's been shuffled back in his last two starts and finished with plenty of pace. Hopefully a clear trip will see him win. And in the eleventh and final race, number five, Daylon Charger is my top pick. He remains in great shape, and I think he's the one to beat in tonight's nightcap five, Daylon Charger in the 11th. Tony, you like a couple out here by me? Uh, yes, I do, Peter. Let me find my notes. Uh, in the second race out by you, I like uh, number one, Heavy on the Mister. I think Heavy on the Mister with a good, clean trip should win. He has enough speed to get right to the top or at worst get a two-hole trip. In the sixth race, uh, number three, Baby I Got It. Raced well last time out. Has a good driver in Sam Woodger. And uh, Baby I Got It looks to be my pick, Peter, in the sixth out at Balmoral. Peter, I'll quickly go through the things or uh, races here at Maywood Park simply because of the fact I am starting to melt. Uh, going to the first race. Take off your jacket. Well, we're almost done, Peter. You're wearing those fake shirts without any back and sleeves on, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, in the first race here at Maywood Park, I like number uh, two. He asked to win. And driver Ron Mars simply because of the fact this horse is on the inside on a front track. Number two, he asked to win in the first. Going to the second race, uh, number eight, These Eyes, and driver Randy Jacobs. Race big lies Tom out from the eight post position. A very soft field in These Eyes certainly looks to be much the best. Going to the third, a horse that's going to get an excellent trip on the inside, number two, Come On Marion, and driver Joe Anderson. Uh, again, it could be a front track tonight. Horses shouldn't be coming from too far back. In the fourth race, uh, number four, Kentucky Cash, and driver Dave McGee, a may sprint right to the top, or at worst, take a two-hole trip. Will be in the thick of it the entire mile. Going to the fifth race, number one, Limited Edition, and driver Ron Marsh. Limited Edition raced huge last time out. Maybe that's an indication that the source is ready to win. Has the inside post with one of the nation's best in Ron Marsh. Going to the sixth race, I like the way, number one, uh, 46 extra long, gutted it out last week. He looked beaten at the top of the lane. However, he hung on in a very good stretch drive. Uh, driver Joe Marsh Jr. has really made a name uh, for himself in the past years. He certainly regained that this spring here at Maywood Park. In the seventh race, number one, Rana Diablo is certainly fresh, and we know he's fast. He could go right to the top for driver Ron Marsh and never look back. Going to the eighth race, number five, Fox Valley Expo. This horse is working on a long winning streak, and Dean McGee gets along extremely well with this horse. He looks like he can win another. Going to the ninth race, uh, number two, uh, Courageous Falcon. Here's another horse that could get an excellent trip tonight. Has the two post position behind the speed horse, who is the one. Going to the tenth race, this is our feature, $50,000 feature. I like number one, AJ's dad, who raced very well last time out after being off for a while. I think he's ready and all set to win tonight's feature. And going to the eleventh race, a 15 to one shot, uh, number six, Rev It Up Ralph and driver Randy Jacobs. Horse needed the start over the track the last time out. Uh, he has nothing else but to improve off of that effort, and this is a very soft field. And Peter, that's why I like here at Maywood. Tony, I like two horses by you tonight. Uh, the first one appears in the eighth race, number one, Yuppie Society. Should have the needed position. There's plenty of speed to set it up for this late rusher, and Yuppie Society, with a clear trip to the wire, may prove best in the eighth. In the ninth race, a horse that won at Balmoral a couple weeks ago, number three, Sue's Party. This horse is in just super shape. Uh, back in the claimers, and I think with a good trip, Sue's party will prove best in the ninth. So those are my two picks by you, Tony. And just as we close this out, my sound man Jerry just took the fan out and is going to plug it in, Peter. Now, is that a racing fan? No, this is... Hey, that's sharp, Peter. You like that, uh, huh? Yeah. Uh, no, this is a regular fan. It's just starting to blow now, and don't mess my hair yet. We're not off. Yeah, here but we Peter, go. But, Peter, remind here the fans go. that tonight action is the attraction. It's fast-paced action. They're certainly going to love it. It's a race every seven minutes, and uh, we start in just a little bit at 7.45 with the, uh, the simulcast of your first race. <laughs> They're telling me about my tie in my ear. So anyways, we're almost over. Tony, don't forget uh, tomorrow night you must be present to win the Mustang. And we're, we're going to talk. 
We're going to talk about more about that on tomorrow night's show when we talk about the car. Okay, Peter. Thank you so much. And uh, uh, racing fans, please make all selections early and and have a great night. All right, Tony. I'll talk to you tomorrow night on TV. Thank you, Peter. Good Good luck, racing fans. Good night, everybody.